What's up YouTube today? In this video, I'm going to show you how to get DLSS 4 Transformer model in Fortnite. So, um, you're going to need a RTX card, like a 2050 or higher, uh, thanks NVIDIA. And the version Fortnite uses is 2.2.6, which is like really, really old, like from 2021, like old. And obviously, there's better quality, there's better performance on later models. So, uh, to start off the video, uh, you're going to need two tools. And thank you to NotDeanFR for kind of uh, giving a rundown on how to do this. Uh, link is in the description, or whatever. So, following this guide, uh, we're going to need two tools. One of them is DLSS Tweaks. And the other is DLSS Swapper. Uh, you're going to need a Nexus Mods account to get DLSS Tweaks, the latest version anyway. I already have everything installed, but something something, download manual, you log in, you download it. Then run the installer as normal, don't like tweak anything unless you know what you're doing. The second <clears throat> thing you're going to want to do is get DLSS Swapper. And to do that, you just go to the releases, or you can hit this button. This is the latest release as of now. And you just hit um, this installer right here. And then you download it and run it as normal. It's pretty straightforward. So once you have both of these tools, uh, in-game, you can see we are on DLSS 2.2.6. The way I can see it is because I've already used a tweak to show it to prove that we're on 2.2.6. Uh, you can turn this off, but we're going to want to close the game for now. So, now that we have all of our things installed and ready, we can go to DLSS Swapper. And this is the thing that actually swaps the DLSS version. So. You're going to want to scroll down and go to Fortnite, and you will see this. This is because I've done this before, and think of this as like a backup, I guess. But the actual DLSS version is this version right here. So, uh, to change it, we're just going to go up here and just hit swap. Because I already have it installed, but you're going to want to download it, and it will swap it for you. So we will still have that overlay, and how you uh, turn that on is enable this, and this will tell you what version you're running. So don't be scared like, oh, this is 3.10.2.0. No, this is the latest uh, version of DLSS we have. It's uh, DLSS 4, so don't worry about that. So we can close out of uh, our browser and... Uh, we're just going to run the game in normal DLSS 4. We're not using the Transformer model, we're using the normal model. And as far as I know, I don't think you can get banned. But don't take my advice literally, you may be banned. I don't know, I haven't yet, so... This is only changing DLSS, no cheats, no nothing. So you should be safe. And now that we're in the game... You can see our DLSS version is the latest version we can do. This render preset is kind of important, and I'll get to it later, but uh, an issue may, you may have is, like, you may have to, like, turn it back on, or it might be off, or, like, DLSS is just gone, like, it'll just go from TA to Intel or TSR. But... We do have DLSS, and it is on DLSS 4. We're using the CNN model, I believe it's called. But you want you want your crisp visuals. You want the Transformer model, the good-looking model. So we're going to close out of the game once again. And this is where DLSS Swapper comes in. So I already have it installed, or Tweaker. This is where Tweaker comes in. So it should look like this. And you're going to want to double click this 
Uh, you might get like a prompt saying you need to allow something. I have it disabled. But uh, we're going to want to add DL DLL override. And then <clears throat> uh, you should have to go to wherever Fortnite is installed. It's on my C drive. So we go here. Program Files, Epic Games, Fortnite, Fortnite Game, Content, no, no. We go to Binaries, 164, then we scroll down, NV and GX underscore DLSS dot DLL. And this is the, uh, the new DLSS uh, thing we got from DLSS Swapper. So we can just hit Open. It'll override it, it'll override the settings. And then all we have to do, uh, I wouldn't change any of this. You can, but I wouldn't if you don't know what you're doing. We can scroll down and we go to global forced preset. Instead of default, we wanna do J or K. I personally do K. We just hit save. And that should be it. Now, if we open our game one more time, it should be uh, the transformer model on the rendering on the K preset. So now we're in the game once again and our render preset is K. Uh, I don't think you'll be able to really notice a big difference on my character, but in game, the game looks very sharp, sharper than the 2.2.6 uh, version. And even so, using uh, the CNN model with DLSS 4, it should look a little better than uh, before. I don't, don't really quote me on anything, but personally, I think this looks really good. And uh, if you want to turn this off, again, you can just go back to DLSS Swapper, go to Settings, and turn this off, or just hit it to None. And then if we restart the game, uh, we should be able to, it should be gone. But just in case, we can just hit swap again. And it should have swapped to the, uh, the one without, the one without uh, the little debug information. So I'm just going to show a little bit of gameplay of uh, DLSS 4 Transformer model gameplay.
And that is all for today's video. If this helped you, if this made your frame rate go higher or made your game look better, uh, please like and subscribe. I don't really care if you do those, though. And I'll try to come up with another video in the next two months or so. See you.